Um, my first piece is called I Am Woman. I am woman, made in the image of Eve, mother of humanity who bears the pain of witnessing how we are viewed, molded by the hand of God yet molten down and disfigured by patriarchy, oppressed by gender roles because our history shows that we are to be docile and submissive. I am woman, chained to the desires of men, characterized by what's between my thighs instead of what lies inside my mind, because they love our bodies but treat our bodies like mazes that they refuse to find their ways out of. I am woman, expected to abide by what everyone else thinks of me, blinded by materialism and the expectation to be pretty instead of pursuing my destiny. But I am woman, almighty, powerful, and passionate because I know my existence is no accident. I am woman, not a plaything, not worthless. I live for my own purpose and not to fulfill some silly societal expectation. I am an ocean of virtue that mankind will never pollute because I am woman. grand old flag. You're a grand old flag. You're a high-flying flag that has sopped up the blood of the innocent indigenous population. It's stitched with the false pretense of tolerance whose stripes symbolize the strife of the individuals who built it with no credit. And forever in peace may you wave. Because genocide no longer hides in the darkest depths of our country's corners, but on the podiums of presidential debates, slandering foreigners when their very ancestors built a country on a land that was never theirs, oh hate your the emblem of the land I love but doesn't seem to love me back. My country despises melanin more than crack as it cracks the metaphorical whip on people of color's backs, you know. There's more crime found than anything in simply being black. The home of the free and the brave with disguise. A lie that protects the bigots and the racists who refuse to listen to our pleas. Systemic racism, unfamiliar, better yet, non-existent, covered by the illustration of equality. Every heart beats true with the red, white, and blue. It drips down the open bullet holes of unarmed black men, wasted in the name of nationalism. Salute the brave souls who stole another in exchange for the protection of America. Where there's never a boast or a brag unless it's dispute prevarications of the unification of many nations under our gracious flag. Equality, love, and unity, pretenses that perpetuate unspoken hatred, but let all acquaintances be forgotten, as we also forget those who continue to suffer. Apathy is a catastrophe, the key element to our country's corrupted existence. Can we ever restore the pure vision of America that we previously saw as you keep your eye on the grand old flag?